Welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name is Stam and today's video we're going to talk all about foundation. So we're going to show you guys how to find your perfect foundation for your skin colour, for your skin type, for everything that you're looking for in a foundation. And I've got a couple of goodies here to show you exactly how I find my perfect foundation for myself and how you guys can do it as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've got three foundations here that I'm going to explain to you guys. So we have these ones here. So we've got the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, which is a 24-hour wear. It is full coverage. It's more of a matte finish. And then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. So this one is a full coverage as well. It is a pore smoothing, like just flawless finish foundation. Really good for a normal to oily skin type, especially someone like me with some pores that I'm not really really a fan of and my skin does get quite oily so this is my favorite foundation of course and then for your more dry or mature skin the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid is amazing so this one is super hydrating on the skin it's got hyaluronic acid in there which is amazing you get 12 hours of hydration what more could you want so that is amazing for normal skin maybe more on the dry side and definitely a mature skin as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with two of the foundations I'm gonna do one half of my face with one and one half with the other I'm also gonna show you how to prime underneath these and I'll show you my favorite way to apply them as well so before we start with the foundation I'm gonna prime my skin so I'm gonna make sure that each side is primed to the different foundation and the different finish that I want. So with this side, because I want it to be more matte, I'm gonna use the Pore Minimizing Primer. And for this side, because I want it to be a little bit more hydrated, a little bit more glowy on the skin and better for more drier or mature skin, I'm gonna use the Hydrating Primer. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab the Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm gonna pop it in the main areas that I find I have large pores, which is right along here, just along my T-zone pretty much. So you definitely don't need too much at all. What I'm going to do now is on this half of my face, I'm going to pop the hydrating primer on. Okay, so for this side of my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. So we're going to buff that in with a brush. I'm just going to pop a small amount of that on the back of my hand. Probably my favorite way to use these is just a buffing brush, but you can use a sponge or a beauty blender if you like. You can also use your fingers. Honestly, I have found that any of them work. I like a buffing brush because I tend to get a little bit more coverage with it. And I definitely need a good amount of coverage, especially when my skin is just not being the greatest. But if you're wanting something a little bit more natural, using your fingers or a sponge will work just as well. But I'm just building up the coverage with this one. And you can already see it's giving a really nice flawless finish to the skin. And this one is in the shade 220. Being that this is a full coverage, it's still super lightweight and you can't really feel it on your skin, which I love because I find a lot of full coverage foundations can feel really heavy and they can just like, you can feel it when you're wearing it. Whereas this, I don't feel it at all. So it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything, but it has a good coverage to it, which is amazing. And I'm going to grab a different brush and I'm going to use the Dream Satin Liquid on this side. This one is in the shade 24. And building up the coverage. The thing that I like the most about this foundation, the Dream Satin, is that it's still nice and dewy and hydrating for the skin, but it's oil free, which is so good because it's not going to clog your pores, it's not going to cause breakouts or anything like that. Because for me, being more of an oily skin, any sort of oil just tends to congest my skin. And sometimes I do like a really dewy look, especially in winter time when my skin's feeling a bit more dry. Okay, so as you can tell, there is a slight difference between the finishes of both foundations. So this one is nice and matte, looks super flawless, everything looks nice and smooth, which is amazing. And then this side is a little bit more glowy, looks a little bit more like skin, nice and natural. And what I will do now is I'll demonstrate how to use the 24 hour Superstay foundation. And that is what I'm going to do a full face of because this one is one of my favorites as well. Okay, so I just took all of that foundation and primer and everything off and I just put a little bit of lip balm on because my lips are super dry right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin again and we're going to use the 
Superstay foundation. Because it is winter, I am still feeling a little bit dry, but also I do get oily through the T-zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use both primers. So I am going to put the hydrating primer on the outside of my face, and then through the center, I'm going to pop the pore minimizing primer on. So this is how you can multi-prime and how both of them are going to work for different sort of skin types. So we're going to start with the hydrating primer. So I'm going to pop that on the outside of my face to really hydrate my skin and then through the t-zone I'm going to put the pore minimizing primer just a tiny amount of that starting on my forehead my nose and what's left on my chin and then really massaging that in and now we're going to grab the Superstay foundation. This one is in the shade 30. So I'm going to pop a bit of that on my hand and I'm going to grab a new brush and I'm going to buff that in. So this is going to be really good for a night out. If you're going out clubbing or you've got a nice event that you need to go to, it's going to be that longevity, that super full coverage, and also it feels really lightweight as well. It doesn't feel like I'm really wearing anything, but it still covers everything that I need to cover. And because of that primer underneath, it's just gliding on my skin. So I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit more about the Maybelline foundations and helping you to pick which one's gonna be the best for your skin type. But thank you so much for watching. And before we go, don't forget to subscribe to the Makeup Loft YouTube channel. Click that little button down below with the notifications bell as well. Pop some comments down below. Tell us what you guys want to see next. Any other questions or anything like that we can answer. And give this video a thumbs up before you go. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Mwah.